In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Fulbright in Minecraft 1.21.5. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. From here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on Minecraft Java Edition and make sure to select on latest release, which should be 1.21.5, then go ahead and press on play. All right, so once you load it into Minecraft 1.21.5, feel free to go ahead and close it. And now we can proceed to the next step. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment, and it is going to bring you to a page that does look like this. and it will provide you with all the necessary files and tools that you will need in order to install Fulbright. It will also provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide as well. So we just did step number one, which is to load into Minecraft 1.21.5. And step number two is to download the Fabric Mod Loader. So over here underneath step two, you will see the download link right over here. It will say fabricmc.net. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that just like so. And then it is going to open up the Fabric download page. So from here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on download towards the top menu. And then you want to go ahead and press on download universal jar, which is what we need. So there you go. It will now appear in our desktop. Now, depending on your web browser, you may not be able to see the download file on the top right over here. So what you may need to do is you need to go ahead and open up your file explorer and then go ahead and look underneath downloads. Either way, the file will be downloaded to your device. Now for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the fabric installer to my desktop. And this is just so that tutorial is actually made to be easier. And I actually recommend that you guys do the same thing. So drag out your fabric installer out here to your desktop. Anyways, guys, next up is to install Java for jar files. So everything we did download up to this point is a jar file and we need to actually go ahead and open those jar files and in order to open jar files we actually need to use Java. So over here in step number three it is going to give you the download link to Java right over here. So all you got to do is you got to go ahead and press on it like so and you need to make sure that JDK21 is actually selected because we are using Java 21. And then you want to go ahead and select on your operating system. So it will work whether you're on a Linux, Mac OS, or a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I'll go ahead and select on this. And then I would install the x64 installer. And basically, you need to do the whole setup wizard thingamajiggy right over there. And it should be pretty straightforward downloading Java. And if you're running into any issues, then what you could always do is run the jar fix. The jar fix is an executable file that will attempt to repair your Java files. Now, you should only do this step if you're having difficulties downloading Java. However, I always do think it's good to know about this just in case you run into issues with Java in the future. But the point is, you want to go ahead and press on the link, and then you want to go ahead and press on jarfix.exe, then it is going to run a program on your computer that is going to attempt to fix Java, and that should be able to go ahead and help you out. All right, so now that you got Java, the next thing we need to do is we need to download the Gamma Utilis, which is actually the Fulbright mod that we're going to be using in this video. So it actually will work on Fabric. We don't even need to use Optifine, which is really great. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on a download link that is underneath step number five. So we're here in step number five. Then we got to go ahead and press on download just like so. And then it is going to go ahead and bring us to a page that does look like this. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and press over here where it does say versions and make sure that version Minecraft 1.21.5 is actually selected. And you also want to make sure that underneath platforms that fabric is actually included. So as you're able to tell, this one actually does include fabric and it also does include Minecraft 1.21.5. So let's just go ahead and download it like so and just wait a little bit. And then there you go. And again, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the files throughout this video to my desktop just to make things a bit easier. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing. All right, guys, we can now go back to the original web page. So step number six is to download the Fabric API mod. So the Fabric API mod is essentially what is going to allow these mods to actually run. So yeah, it is a little bit unfortunate that you need to download multiple mods, but do not worry, guys, it will be easy. So underneath step number six, you want to go ahead and press on the link like so, and then it is going to bring you to a similar page. And over here where it says versions, you want to go ahead and look for 1.21.5, which is right over here. And then you want to go ahead and just download it just like so. And then again, go ahead and drag it and drop it to your desktop. Now we need to go ahead and download one more mod, which is the fabric cloth configuration API. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the download link underneath step number seven. And then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this. Make sure that you do locate the game version 1.21.5, which is right over here. Then you want to go ahead and just press on downloads just like so. Then you want to go ahead and drag and drop the files to your desktop. So at this point, we should have four different files and we should also have Java running on our system. So we got fabric installer. We got gamma utilities, cloth configuration and fabric API. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and work with fabric installer. 
So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go ahead and right click on it just like so. Then we're going to select on open with. And if you did download Java on your device, then you should see the option that does say Java TM platform SD binary. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on that just like so. And then a menu like this will appear. So make sure that client is selected up here. Then where it says Minecraft version, you want to go ahead and make sure 1.21 is selected. And over here in the launcher location, it is going to show you where in your device files it is going to install fabric. And from here, go ahead and press on install. There you go. Then go ahead and press on OK. Then go ahead and close out. Then what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. All right, make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected. And over here in the version selector, it may automatically switch it to Fabric Loader 1.21.5. However, if you do not see Fabric Loader over here for whatever reason, do not worry, guys. What we need to do is we need to go up here in the top menu and select on installations. And we also need to do this for a future step. So go ahead and press on installations up here. And also where it does say versions, you want to make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because this is considered a modded version of Minecraft. And then you guys can go ahead and just press on new installation and then look up here for fabric loader. And then you should be able to go ahead and have it on Minecraft launcher. Anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to locate the fabric loader, which is right over here. You will also notice that it will say 1.21.5. So from here, all we need to do is we need to go to the right and we need to select on open installations folder. So go ahead and just press on that. Now from here, you're going to get a bunch of folders, but do not get overwhelmed because the only folder we need to go ahead and find is the folder that actually does say mods. So yep, here is the mods folder. And if for whatever reason, you do not see a folder called mods, do not worry. You can easily make one by just right clicking on your mouse, pressing on new, then folder, then calling it mods in all lowercase. But all you want to do is you want to open up your mods folder just like so. You will notice that it is empty. Now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and drag and drop these three files onto this folder. So these are all the mods we did download and the order does not matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with Fabric API, put this one and then this one and then bam, we should have these three files inside of our mods folder. And once you're done with that, feel free to go ahead and close out of your mods folder. Go back to the Minecraft launcher, go over here where it says play. Make sure that Fabric Loader 1.21.5 is actually selected. Then go ahead and press on play. Press on this box that says I understand, then go ahead and press on play one more time. And from here, just wait for Minecraft to actually load in. All right, guys, now here we are loaded into Minecraft. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and load into a Minecraft world. All right, guys, so here we are in our world. And in order to actually activate the Fulbright, all you want to do is you want to go to your keyboard and press on the G key in order to turn it on and off. So let me go ahead and just turn it on really quickly. Yep, there you go. As you're able to tell, we are literally able to see everything thanks to Fulbright right over here. But if you want to turn it off, go ahead and press on the G key one more time. There you go. Then you can go ahead and just turn it on and off at any point in time. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.